The Prime Minister says it is important for people to have a full understanding of what human rights is. People need to understand that it's a violation of human rights to beat up a woman. It's a violation of human rights to deny food or the sharing of the family's resources to a woman. It's a violation of human rights to treat that woman in an undignified, undignified manner, like insulting them. It's a violation of human rights. So we need to understand that so that we can protect these rights. Kuongela Madhila says government has adopted laws and policies which removes any kind of discrimination. She says this includes the Affirmative Action Act which promotes equal opportunities at work. The implementation of this act has resulted in the public service now consisting of 98% of the workers of government being those who were previously disadvantaged. The Prime Minister stated that 58% of the civil servants are women and 42% of the women are in managerial positions. Kuongela Madhila says the government is committed to respect and promote the rights of all persons and their dignity. It is also important for us to note that promoting access to social amenities such as health, education, water, sanitation, housing and promotion of employment are also very important for the welfare of our communities, for their dignity, and they are also part of upholding the rights of human beings in our countries and in the world. We will therefore, as a government, continue to address the challenges that remain in these areas in order to ensure that all our people live in dignity, making use of the resources that this country is endowed with, and taking advantage of the laws and policies that we have put in place. Swapo Party Regional Coordinator Otilia Shinduvi says the issue of landless, poverty and unemployment are some of the major challenges that people are faced with. That's why Human Rights Day is a day we should give thanks to those who are making a difference in their communities and the society as a whole through provision of basic needs such as shelters, water, food, health, and education to restore the dignity of many people out there. It is against this background that I call upon the government to use the Namibian constitution and the other existing laws and policy in place as tools to tackle poverty. In doing so, government should partner with relevant stakeholders in private sectors to achieve these efforts. Shindovi also calls upon local and international companies to focus on tangible community projects when they are carrying out their corporate social responsibilities. This year's Human Rights Day was commemorated under the theme Dignity, Freedom and Justice for All. Elizabeth Mwengo, NBC News. Rundu.